Hello, my name's Howard Carter. I'm an insect bite prevention expert and I'm here to speak on behalf of Life the Basic Manual about pesticides and their effect on man and the environment. Pesticides are designed to kill and because of their mode of action is not specific to one species, they often kill or harm organisms other than the pests they're intended for, including humans. Uh, DEET is a, a common pesticide, it's in most insect repellents, and it is the only one approved by certain governments to be applied to the human skin. Uh, it's banned in quite a few countries, including Sweden. The World Health Organization estimates there are three million, around three million pesticide poisoning cases every single year, with up to 220,000 deaths. That's people dying directly from pesticide use. I personally try and stay well away from pesticides for myself and my family. Um, although the deaths are mainly in developing countries, you know, it's a big issue worldwide. The application of pesticides is often not uh, at all precise uh, and un unintended exposures occur all the time to other organisms in the general area um, such as um, bees which there's been a big problem with recently. The developing organisms, the young and developing organisms are particularly vulnerable to the harmful effects of pesticides. Even very low levels of exposure during development may have adverse health effects. 97% of water supplies in the U USA contain this pesticide in small amounts. So you might want to be thinking about a filter over there. Pesticide exposure can cause a range of neurological health effects such as memory loss, loss of coordination, reduced speed of response to stimuli, reduced visual ability, altered or uncontrollable mood and general behaviour. DEET is a, is a proven neurotoxin, as are most of these pesticides and insecticides as well. They reduce the motor skills, you know, how we move our arms and, and all of the, the, the cells in our body are affected by neurons, of course. Uh, it's very subtle, some of these symptoms are, um, and they've been recommended, sorry, they've been observed by the medical community for quite some time. And some of the possible health effects include asthma, uh, allergies, hypersensitivity, skin rashes, uh, but then stronger, they've been linked with cancer, hormone disruption and so on. Pesticide formulations contain both active and inert ingredients. Which, uh, which the active ones kill the pest and the inert ones help the active ingredients to do that. Uh, that these inert ingredients are often uh, not on the bottle. You can't see them, but they are allowed to sort of be in there by certain governments. And solvents, of course, which are, again, not very good for the humans or animals in general. Uh, and they can be toxic if inhaled as well, some of these. Children are at greater risk from exposure to pesticides because of their small size relative to, the, um, relative to adults. They, children eat, drink, and um, they eat, drink, and breathe more than adults. Their bodies and organs are growing rapidly, which also makes them more susceptible. In fact, children may be exposed to pesticides even while in the womb. So I would not recommend that you use any pesticides on babies or children and that is the view of most, the vast majority of paediatricians worldwide. If you're interested in a natural alternative and how to prevent your getting bitten from insects or you want to hear about my life experience, how I got into this business, how I became a mosquito bite prevention expert, then look at my other videos on life, the basic manual. Thank you for watching.